hello everyone uh, so this part is the continuation from the part 2 you see again and again that it is more than one thing from a good person once in a while a person does only one thing in his whole life and we'll talk about that later but a lot of times there is a repetition i claim that luck will not cover everything and i will cite pastor who said luck favors the prepared mind and i think that it i think that says it the way i believe it there is indeed an element of luck and no there isn't the prepared mind sooner or later finds something important and does it so yes it is luck the particular thing you do is luck but you do something is not so what the author is saying is that uh, in the previous video already we have seen that uh, he was talking about only the luck so whether scientists will do the things by luck or whatever they do it becomes so uh, high popularized so it is not the case for the all the things what they do right so this is what he is going to explain here so he is telling that the particular thing you do is luck whatever thing you do is luck but you do something is not what everything you does is not a by luck for example when i came to bell labs i shared an office for a while with shan and at the same time he was doing information theory i was doing coding theory now when shanan he was doing the on information theory and same this fellow uh, richard hamings he was doing on the coding theory it is suspicious that two of us did it at the same place and at the same time it was in the atmosphere so is so what he is saying that they were both doing in the same place at the same time and you can say yes it was luck on the other hand you can say but why all the people in the bell labs then were those two who did it yes it is a partly luck and partly it is prepared mind but partly it is on other thing i am going to talk about so although i'll come back several more times to luck i want to dispose of this matter of luck as being the sole criterion whether you do great work or not i claim you have some but not total control over it and i will quote finally newton on the matter newton said if others would think as hard as i did then they would get similar results one of the characteristics you see and many people have it including great scientists is that usually when they were young they had independent thoughts and had the courage to pursue them so yes it is a uh, the real fact which is pointed out so the scientists who in the olden days so from the very very younger age itself they have their own thoughts and they discuss with the others they do the um, good experiments to prove us what the theory says right for example einstein somewhere around 12 14 12 or 14 asked himself the question what would a light wave look like if i went with the velocity of the light to look at it now he knew that electronic electromagnetic theory says you cannot have a stationary local maximum but if he moved along with the velocity of light he would see a local maximum he could see a contradiction at the age of 12 or 14 or somewhere around there that everything was not right and the velocity of the light had something peculiar is it luck that he finally created special relativity early on he had laid down some of the pieces by thinking of fragments now that's the necessary but not sufficient condition all of these items i will talk about talk about are both luck or not 
how about having lots of brains it sounds good most of you in this room probably have more than enough brains to do first class work but great work is something else than mere brains brains are measured in privacy in various ways in mathematics theoretical physics astrophysics typical brains correlate to a great extent with the ability to manipulate symbols and so typical iq test is apt to score them fairly high on the other hand in the other fields it is something different for example bill fan the fellow who did zone melting came into my office one day he had this idea dimly in his mind about what he wanted and he had some equations it was pretty clear to me that this man didn't know much mathematics and he wasn't really articulate his problem seemed interesting so i took it and did a little work finally showed him how to run computers so he could compute his own answers i gave him the power to compute he went ahead with negligible recognition from his own department but ultimately he has collected all the prizes in the field once he got well started his shyness his awkwardness his inarticulateness fell away and he became much more productive in many other ways certainly he became much more articulate okay so that's all for this video and we'll go for further things in the next video thanks for watching